Today's video will be talking about the different types of muscles. We have mentioned this briefly in the last video, but in this one I want to talk about it in a bit more detail, then there'll be some separate videos just on each individual muscle type, where I'll be talking about the types of contractions, etc. So we have the skeletal muscle here. These are all histological samples of skeletal muscle, smooth muscle, and cardiac muscle. Those are the three types of muscles. Now we'll first begin by talking about skeletal muscle. So, um, it's striated, so it has stripes. Stripes are actually due to bands of actin and myosin. And actin and myosin are what form the sarcomere. And the sarcomere is what forms the myofibrils, which you can see from this diagram here. These are the myofibrils. So the myofibrils are made up of sarcomeres, which contain actin and myosin. The contractions vary, so they can either be fast and powerful or very slow and precise. And skeletal muscle, the most important thing you need to know is that it's under voluntary control. So you're able to move any body part you want, and that's basically due to the voluntary control of skeletal muscle. Another thing is that the skeletal muscle will return back to its original shape after contraction. Now there are three fibre types of skeletal muscle. We have type 1, type 2 and type 2A. And these will be mentioned in more detail in the video which will just be only on the skeletal muscle. Let's talk about the smooth muscle now. So smooth muscle is involuntary and it's non-striated. So you can see the difference between the two um, pictures here. We have skeletal muscle which is in stripes but there are no stripes in the smooth muscle. It's found in it's found on the walls of hollow organs like the stomach, esophagus, and blood vessels, and it's stimulated by involuntary neurogenic impulses. So it's completely involuntary, and the types of contractions we have in smooth muscle are slow rhythmic contractions. And it's often just to help move whatever's in the hollow organ along the passage. So in the case of the esophagus, the smooth muscle contracts to help the food pass down from the esophagus into the stomach. The last muscle type is cardiac muscle, and it's found only in the walls of the heart, and it has striations just like skeletal muscle, but there are some other structural differences. It's involuntary like smooth muscle, so it's not under your conscious control, and it's very specialized as well. Now, it's under control by the autonomic nervous system, but even without this, it's still able to contract without any nervous input because it's stimulated by pacemaker cells. I've made a video on pacemaker cells, so the link to that will be in the description. Cardiac muscle is also resistant to fatigue because it has large amounts of mitochondria, myoglobin, and it has a very good blood supply, so it allows for continuous aerobic respiration.